Hand and Donovan McNabb, watch how much better they look. Okay. They're going to look better every year, and and I and I and I expect Donovan to be able to thrive because he's with an offensive coach who knows how to use a mobile quarterback, and he's going to make it work. I just think. But Vic, let me tell you something else about his performance before everybody puts it down. Okay, he did receive a standing ovation, by the way, and yes, was he applauded. Did. He actually ended up finishing 17 for 31 right. with 295 yards, two touchdowns, three interceptions. Ooh. Right. And some of the interceptions, you wonder about some of the other folks too involved. Right. Um, but Dimitri Patterson was one of the people who in- intercepted McNabb twice. Right. All right? I agree. So that's not a, you know, the, the, the interceptions, yeah. But still, but still, that's not bad. 295 yards, 17. No, I watched it. I looked at it. He's had 58% passer uh, completions on his passes. It's, it's good. Yeah. It's the part that I look at the players. For example, I watched, uh, I, I was listening to uh, New York Jets lineman. I forgot his name that he's out right now, I think, on injury. I'm not sure. But he says, when you, look, when you deal with Michael Vick, you know what you're getting from McNabb. You kind of know what you're getting from him because he's a seasoned guy. He's right. proven his ten. He right. says, but when you go up, it's like it's how you thought of Randy Moss and his big his big day with Vic. You you really are stuck in a place where you go like I have to assign at least a rover, a man on him. So the part that gets me here is that I don't question whether Vic still has time to earn what he's done so far it takes more time and i'm not questioning mcnab i think he can be there yeah because to me it's, it's not a be, comparison no, i mean people love to comparison but they're just it's just a different kind of let's put it like this mike shanahan probably would not covet Vic as his starting quarterback well i'm gonna say something else too daniel snyder unfortunately with a lot of money to throw away has a history of putting a lot of money Hainsworth, I know. all into players who have not produced. Oh, I know, I know. So the organization has a reputation, and, no, and no. that culture is in there like that. So I'm glad he got the money. Yeah. I'm just thinking about coaches. Yeah. Some coaches are not, to me, based on the way they run their stuff. Yeah. Like, for example, maybe, possibly, but see, I don't think Vic works with, like, Belichick. Maybe, maybe not. Because the ones that lead a more specifically structured, disciplined offense, right. unless they're willing, somebody has to change. In other words, either they have to change their offensive philosophy. It's like playing in basketball without Alvin Iverson. Right. If you have to change your offensive philosophy to, to fit that player. Right. And that's where Andy Reid, to me, was a better coach right. for Vic because I think he was more more willing to adapt his offensive philosophy. Whereas I think with Shanahan, when you go to like a Shanahan or to a Belichick, yeah. you have to really fit their package. They've picked people to right. fit their package. Right. And if you don't fit, you're out. Right. Um, and what happens is, too, and everybody, it's the intangibles. The, the difference is, and everybody's going to tell you, you watch the players when a Mike Vick gets on the field and you watch the players. And I'm not, I'm still using the comparison as where people get energized. Right. The part about the Redskins is do they get energized about McNabb and are they equipped to think like champions? That's yet to be determined. And I agree with but you. But they're getting enough. But I think leadership. they do. But they do. But Vic, they do look to me, okay, to me, right. compared to the previous Redskin teams, right. they do look like they have a methodology that they have a plan, and it looks like the Donovan, see his personality to me, even with all the stuff they're talking about, actually works well with Shanahan what? to me. And I, I think you're going to see it do better and better well, well, as they get their stuff like, you know. Well, I'm going to say this. London Fletcher, the former, uh, of course, Super Bowl champion with the St. Louis Rams over 10 years ago, led in tackles with 12 on the Redskins. The $100 million man, Hainsworth, had one tackle the whole game. Now, when your money's being invested and the people you're supposed to be stepping up, I'm going, here's a problem. Now that, that's a mistake. Now, I don't know. <laughs> See, I don't know who to blame because every team is different in terms of who yeah. makes the trades. Yeah. And how they, so I don't know who to blame, but obviously that was a snafu. But a snafu? If you gave your man $100 million and you came out of a game on Monday Night Football and you're the biggest and considered the strongest in your position and you have one tackle what are you paying him for like i said <laughs> that's the that's sometimes the people have implied agreements that don't work you could buy it's like buying dinner 
Don't go there. Do not slam the women. We're not. We we need women. I'm about on to the say show. when women buy dinner for the men and they think they're gonna get what they want, and the men don't come through for them. You know, and I had a woman set up for him to meet. She's she's gonna come to the show afterwards. She probably turned around and went back. I don't blame her. Okay, I would warn you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well. To, we have to co-tell. McNabb <laughs> is still in the news on this one because T.O. chimed into something yesterday, man. I know. And he and said... I like T.O. He said he's not impressed with that $70 million, $78 million contract. And he said, how do you justify $78 million with a performance Somebody like said that about him previous to the latest few games. But, so, hey, so what, dude, you know, they were saying me, that about you very it, recently. Wait, well, no, wait That's not true. He had a good year last year. No, Mario, he's rated third in No, receiving. this year. Right. Yeah. This year, this year way better but even though last year was still not yeah, bad yeah not not. i mean you know he's still not bad <laughs> no no so he's not impressed so what <laughs> i mean who gives a shit i wait mean i'm minute. sorry wait a minute so to's not impressed right okay i mean so okay let's put it this way right how many starting quarterbacks in the nfl how many of them is yeah. to impressed with yeah i i know i know i'm just okay, saying Okay, two okay so okay so donovan ain't on the list no, no, okay no. next <laughs> I'm All right, just, I got you. No, I'm just Are saying. you impressed with Vic? Ask him, is he impressed with Vic? Is he impressed with Michael Vick? Well, I'm just saying. Is he impressed quote, with Drew Brees? Well, who the hell is he impressed well, with? Well, you get into the I question. I know who he ain't impressed with, Carson Palmer. So, well, here's the question then. Here's the question. Why is T.O. targeting Donovan McNabb? Because, see, remember, the part is. Oh, I don't he, think he's targeting. I think he also gets asked. Oh. I, In other words, I what agree. I'm saying to me, when I, every time I watch this, only because I'm trying to give T.O. a break to me. Right. A lot of times they make it seem like he goes out of his way. Oh, I know that. But and he, what happens but is just, they ask him specifically about people, and then anything he says, good or bad, is a controversy. If he, There is a whole bit. Well, I like there's T.O. A, there's a different response when you say that quote. In other words, <laughs> I'm saying this. If there's T.O., let me give put it. If let me be T.O., and you ask me the question, what do I think about Donovan McNabb? Tell me the answer. Right. That's not controversial. Well, if he says, There hey, is no answer. Well, think about it this way. Wonder if he sat there and said, hey, what did you think about the performance? I said, you know, he's a, that's a, he's a great leader. He's going to be a, he's a value to that team. A lot well, of what if you don't think all that? Well, what's, I'm just saying, what there's a way out of it. What if he doesn't think all that? But that's the lie. What if he don't want to lie? He believes that they're good. So he's not impressed. <laughs> See, my thing is, to me, with T.O., this is what I'm saying. It'd be different if you went out of his way to say bad things about people. He doesn't. They right. really ask him about these people, and then they put it out there as a headline. I, and yeah. that's the way this one is, too. They asked him about how he felt about Donovan, and he just spoke his opinion. So and so he's not impressed. You know, I mean, in other words, I wasn't impressed with the important performance. I thought it was solid. Yeah. And the faces. Let me put it well. I love to. I watch the way people lose. It says something about your work ethic and right. your, your integrity. Right. That they had gotcha. to me. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? They didn't quit like other teams mm -hmm. where you see them quit. Right. They didn't self-destruct. You right. didn't see a Randy Moss incident right. or a Ocho Cinco cussing out right. Donovan McNabb in the face of this, right? Right. You didn't see the offensive lineman turn around. Right. Cussing and kicking the grass and right. tantrum. You didn't see none of that crap, right? Right. Okay. In the face of a loss. Right. That tells you something about people's professionalism. Well, yeah, their character. And their character. That's yeah. all I'm saying. So now, because other people in the face of losses, and you have immediate examples of recent, right. are nowhere near like that. Yeah. That's the other reason why I have a certain respect for them. Oh, no, I have a respect for them, too. I think the whole thing with uh, T.O. is to always stay in the media eye. But then again, they <laughs> sought him out. I know. See, again, I'm just being fair. I keep watching the shows, and right. I go like, now nah, I get it more. Yeah. That no matter what you say, mm -hmm. they're going to come ask you. When Donovan has a good day, they're going to ask you about Donovan. But he's, they, they're he, going to ask you. But he, he's going to go like this. I can take the safe way out. And we see all football players do this. He adds to it. And I said, you're doing this to stay. You want to be tweeted. Well, think about You want to stay sure. in the subject. That's what he's doing. Sure. Because think about it. And I think about this all the time. A bunch of the other players, even when they're great, Asking their opinions and just the way they bring it, right. who cares? Yeah, I know. I know. You know, I mean, they're great players. Yeah, yeah, I mean, or I will. I will. Uh, see, see T.O. got some personality. A lot of the other players, you know, you don't want to interview them. Right. It's boring. Of course. So that's why you don't ask them. We don't care what they think about McNabb because it's not a good soundbite. I agree.
which now makes me go to a number of responses based on the T.O. reply, tar- not targeting, but just a response to the performance of Donovan, Donovan McNabb. You tell me. I'm going to read them off. Which one you think is more appropriate since we've already discussed it, Mario? There was a number of comments. The first one, who gives a sh- Oh, what Owens think most team owners will not take financial advice from a malcontent on another team is just jealousy. Number one. Number two, people may not like the, his style, but he's absolutely right. Number three, first time I've ever agreed with T.O. Number four, poor T.O. He'll never get a ring. He'll never know what it's like to host a Lombardi trophy or five. Haters will always hate. Why is this dude so envious of this man, McNabb? Which one of those comments do you believe is closer to the truth? I think, the okay, because it's not the first one. It's not who gives, you know. Right. Uh, because, again, he's being sought out for these comments. Right. Uh, and I, people, and I think some, there are times he's right. There certainly are times he's right. Okay. It's not the first time I've ever agreed with T.O. I got you. Okay. And I never say poor T.O. He may never get a ring, but neither did Marino, right? Correct. So, uh, you know, a bunch of players don't get a ring. Yep. Uh, uh, Haters will always hate. I don't think he's hating. Okay. So the one that I think is the most, uh, that I most agree with. He'll never get a Lombardi trophy. People may not just not like his style, but he's right. <laughs> I guess because he's right. It right. wasn't a performance to be. wasn't supposed to be impressed. Okay, it has to do with the word impressed. Right. It was, but it still wasn't a terrible performance on his part. Agreed. In fact, again, to me, in right. the face of that kind of a loss, right. he showed what I want from a quarterback. Man, leadership, dude. Yeah. This way you lead people, man. You lead them because the players. Know that. And so then they'll be thinking, oh, we're going to shore this up, but we're coming back. Right. All right. Okay. Okay. I got you. All right. So the club, you got it. Good one. It's time to go to the NBA, not because we have controversy, only because we have to sit back and say there's been a ranking shuffle, and maybe it's a little bit early in the season. And when your fathers are out there and they want to give you some good news or bad news, Mario, picture your papa sitting up there going, you know, once upon a time, dad. This is taking too long, and all he wants to do is tell you the Lakers are not ranked number one, my son. Aren't you happy? That reminds me of you, Mario. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't want to give the Lakers any extra incentives. <laughs> no, Who, and who's ranking? Okay, we say ranking. Is this what kind of a ranking based on wins and losses? Yeah, it's based on performance throughout a number of games. Because that's why I say, what's the rankings? Who's ranking? Well, number one, okay, I, I'll I'll say this because I I have to pull from different so- sources. It it'll come from your main outlets or independent writers, and they like a rank vote them. like a voter yeah, like a writer's yeah. vote ranking. Yeah, it okay, comes from mainstream. You know, because first thing with these rankings, you know, they're all done different ways. Yeah, I know. And that's why I always ask how they're done. It's the same as the NFL. You go to a main source that basically says, here's what we surveyed. It's their survey. It can be subjective. I understand NFL, that. NFL, I think, does their ones specifically only on statistics. Yeah. They're doing, they're doing the same yeah, here. You don't vote. see the breakdown. It's not a vote. Oh, okay. That's why I was asking. I thought yeah. you said it was writers. Well, it's, it, they, they take, just like the BCS, they, they'll say, here's the ranking based on these st- t- statistics. The I don't BCS have, is statistics. Right. The writers are a vote. That's yeah, but, why one is, they're totally. No, but they do have they take into consideration the statistics so they take their performances over each week what they've done you mean who does it uh the the right i can't well, the writers can take into consideration whatever they want right the way the data is is that they make a vote yeah and the bcs there's not a vote right it's a it's a it's a straight oh, no. statistical I, ranking I, right. of the schools then versus it's a whole mathematical right. thing. Right. No, they do the mathematics and then they they have close they and then they take in their vote as well. I'm saying they do both. They do both. Who of does them. both? The writers. They take in their mathematics. No, I mean, writers can take in whatever they want. You're right. not inside his head. How right. would you know what he takes? No one can know I'm what only, they take into account. It was only what they actually. Right. Rep- I didn't put the information up here.